The final season of Game of Thrones produced many burning questions. One of the biggest ones is where did Drogon take Daenerys after she was killed by Jon Snow? I've heard countless fan theories suggesting what happened and what Drogon's intentions were. Some more outlandish than others, but entertaining nonetheless. In this video, I'll be taking a look at some of my favorite theories that I've heard, as well as the one that I think is the most plausible. One of the more far-fetched theories that I've heard is that Drogon took her back to his old lair to eat her body. It's a pretty funny theory, but I just don't see that being the case. And the finale's commentary doesn't do this theory any favors. According to this commentary by D.B. Weiss, David Benioff, and Amelia Clark, this most definitely did not happen. Here's a snippet of what they said. Okay. Whole season of Drogon flying with your dead body. But apparently he'll eat it. He's eat it? Hit. What? Yeah. Why, what do you mean? You heard that from whom? From who? Who said he I heard that it? from fans. From they say fans. he's going to eat you. Well, you heard it from real fans. Why would well. he eat you? From real fans. Because that's apparently what happens. And then he poops you out? That's what happens where? That's what happens in the Targaryen. The dragons oh, eat their monsters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I but think first he, he has buries to drop me. you on the rocks to open you <laughs> to up. Oh yeah, yeah, open me up. Tenderize then... you. <laughs> pick you up, drop you. Pick you no, up, drop you. Drogon's not gonna eat. Yeah. He's not a cat. Um, sure. No, yeah, exactly. No. He's not gonna eat you. Didn't you see how gently he was nudging you? I mean, he loved yes, you. Yes, I do. I do. not like the other know. dragons. It's safe to say that this theory is as dead as Joffrey after drinking an Olena Tyrell special. Another theory I've heard, which is the coolest theory, is that Drogon took Daenerys to be resurrected by Kinvara, the Red Priestess from Season 6. It's unlikely that dragons would be smart enough to know who Kinvara is and where she is at. But as referenced in the earlier stages of the show, some maesters do consider dragons to be smarter than humans. This would be a pretty amazing scenario. I mean, let's take a step back and look at how big this could be if it really did happen. Daenerys would immediately want to seek revenge. If you thought the destruction of King's Landing was bad, Daenerys' new plans would dwarf that onslaught. We know that the finale of the show had a time jump of at least a few weeks at a minimum. Assuming Drogon could deliver Daenerys to Kinvara within a couple of days, and she successfully was resurrected, this would give her nearly the entire three weeks as an advantage to start coming up with a plan of attack. I imagine her first stop would be to head back to the Bay of Dragons and acquire the help of the Second Sons once again, which is still likely led by ex-lover Dario Naharis. It would be a shock if he didn't do whatever she said, so I'm assuming she would gather that support in the small army rather quickly. Considering that Daenerys had gone full Mad Queen before her death, I don't think she would really have much regard for the citizens of the Bay of Dragons, even if the lack of support would possibly make it return to its slaving ways. Next, she would do everything in her power to find her loyal forces from her attack of King's Landing. Grey Worm led his unsullied forces to the island of Noth, the home of his late lover Missandei. He was still fiercely loyal to Daenerys' cause when we last saw him, so I also don't see this being much of an issue for her once she tracked him down. She would then try to seek out the Dothraki once again. We didn't really get a clear ending for the Dothraki, but we did see them boarding ships in the show's final minutes. The safest bet is that they'd return to the Dothraki Sea and return to their old way of life before Daenerys. Between all three of these large forces, I don't really see any of it being an issue. The only real question in regards to the forces is the number of fighters left after everything. The showrunners infamously kept going back and forth on the population of these forces throughout the season. The Dothraki seemed to become extinct after the Battle of Winterfell. Then there were countless numbers of them in Daenerys' victory speech, for example. Oh, and let's not forget about this unsullied gem. Daenerys would effectively have the same forces as she did for the Battle of Marine, but minus two dragons and a whole lot of fighters. Yet, it's still enough to roll through a very vulnerable Westeros after the massive casualties that there were in the final season. The last two variables in this story are the fact that Daenerys would have to once again cross the Narrow Sea, and that King Bran the Broken would most definitely see them coming. That would give the Six Kingdoms plenty of prep time with Bran knowing their every move at all times, just like I mentioned in my other Bran breakdown video. It would make for a pretty awesome follow-up movie or an additional season. With the public outcry against the final season, I wouldn't say it's impossible for something like this to happen, but I won't be holding my breath. There is, of course, a possibility that Daenerys would wake up and be completely exhausted by everything. She was betrayed by literally everyone in her eyes, except Grey Worm and Drogon. She might just call it quits and want to give up the fight. Keep in mind that Jon Snow had the same mentality when he was initially revived. She might want nothing more to do with than just live in exile or to rekindle the relationship she had with Dario, but nothing more. As far as the plausibility of her resurrection, I'm not completely convinced. 
But according to the commentary of the final episode, Drogon was heading east towards Volantis, which is where the Red Priestess resides. Everyone keeps on asking me where he's taken me. East towards Volantis. Plus, I'm thinking she would be more than happy to help Daenerys. In all, I'd say this theory is unlikely, but definitely possible. Now the last theory, while not as fun, is the one that I've always believed to be true since the show ended. I believe that Drogon took her back to Essos to lay her body to rest. Essos is where Daenerys grew up. She spent 99% of her life there. She accomplished so much there and made many allies along the way. Much of Drogon's life was in Essos as well. It makes sense that Drogon would want to bring her back there to her true home. Because let's face it, no matter how badly Daenerys wanted Westeros, Westeros did not want her. Her home is east where she fell in love with Khal Drogo and hatched those petrified dragon eggs all those years ago. Her vision in the House of the Undying in Season 2 indicates as much. And maybe she did find Drogo and their son Rago in the Nightlands after all. What do you guys think? Do you agree with any of these theories, or do you believe something else entirely? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. It was definitely a fun one and I'm looking forward to more.